Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to my channel for the love of beauty. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And y'all, as you see here, I am getting ready to do a little something, something to my family room. Right now I am showing you all my couch, um, what I'm going to do to my pillows. I have some new pillow covers that I've ordered from Amazon. They are burnt orange pillow covers and they are 20 by 20. So the white pillow covers, well, they're not exactly white. They are a cream color. I am going to place the pillow covers on top of these pillows. I am not going to remove the pillow covers that's already on the pillows. I am going to place them into the burnt orange color pillow covers. Please excuse the lighting in this room. I will be changing out the ceiling fan. Um, this ceiling fan lights gives out low light and I do not like it. So stay tuned for a new ceiling fan. On this couch, I also have brown pillows, which I am going to pair it with the um, burnt orange and cream. I'm going to leave a couple of the cream pillows uncovered. My family room has been set up in an African theme for a very long time, and I wanted to give this room a makeover. The colors of this room will be burnt orange, brown, cream, black, and gold. In this video, you will notice that I have different clothes on. It's just that I'm working on my family room on different days, um, you know, due to working. And I recently gotten back from out of town. I had to go to my niece's graduation, but I have been throwing out shorts. So y'all be sure to check out my shorts. The cream feather pillows I did purchase off of Facebook Marketplace. They were $35 for seven of them. I did go on Amazon and other websites and they are more expensive for feather pillows. So I found them on the Facebook Marketplace for $35. I tell you, this family room is long overdue for a makeover. Now, I love the African theme. I really did. But it's time. It's time for a change. So I will be doing different parts on different days. And when I come down to the final results, then you will see me, you know, clean this room. And I will show you guys everything on another video. The pillow covers does have patterns in them. The burnt orange plus the brown. They do have um, like a sort of a plush pattern. And that's what I was pretty much looking for. So I'm showing you here how they are looking. i rather have some type of design with some type of plush pattern. And this is what the cream pillow looks like. And they are feathered. So sorry for the lighting.
I had leopard print pillows, but I gave them to my sisters and the pillows that I just taken off of the um, sectional, I will be using them just in case I want to lay on the floor with them. So here I am showing you all that I have a throw on this lounge because it is worn. I have had this leather set for a very long time and it is real leather. So this is what my pillows are looking like on the sectional. The cream and the burnt orange and brown. Be sure to check out my previous video of me putting up my curtains so this is the set of curtains that i just put up and this is the throw that i'm going to use on my sectional This is how my sectional is looking. I could walk with you for a million miles and my feet would not get tired. Now, this is on a different day. I'm getting ready to put down my rug. Now, this is the rug that I had in my living room when I did a fall video. Remember me telling you guys that I believe I got this rug too big for my living room. But guess what? It is perfect for the family room, especially with the colors that I am putting in here. Yes, I wanted to bring my rug out and get some use out of it instead of just letting it sit up and not being used. So I'm buying brand new stuff and I'm just letting it sit around and not using it. Let me take my stuff out and use it. I keep looking at my TV because it was something very interesting that I was watching. Very interesting. So please excuse me for looking at my TV at this present time. This rug is 
is perfect in here. I am so glad I pulled it out. It goes well with the pillows and the curtains. I thought about getting a new coffee table and end tables. And I'm like, no. These tables are perfect. Even though I had them for years, let me just give them a new paint job. And that's just what I did. I am not going to buy nothing new when you got something already. That's what I've been telling myself. When you got something already, just make it over. Do not go out and buy something new. And then later on, you're going to wish that you had your set. So that's what I tell myself. So I'm getting ready to take these tables out and give them a new paint job. Using bare spray paint in a satin black. wiping the tables down to remove dust and after I spray paint them and after it dries I am going to bring them back in and then I am going to spray the glass with spray weight cleaner I would keep you safe while you were dreaming you could scream and shout cry a thousand tears and I wouldn't let fear win what you feel I feel I was trying to remove the suctions off of the table, but it will not, you know, come out. Or when I did try to take one out, it was hard to push back in. So I left the suctions on the tables. Time to be in love. Oh my God, if forever is not enough. Oh my God, what a time to be in love. guys that spray handle is a lifesaver trying to spray by your finger will cramp your hands up so i tell you that spray handle is a lifesaver
I forgot to put back on my spray handle and I was using my fingers. Trust me, my fingers did get cramped up. tables they are looking beautiful never throw away things that you will regret all you have to do is to revamp them make them over and i'm glad i did this lamp from Goodwill. I went one day, which it was $7.99. And I'm like, nah, I'm not gonna pay that much just for this lamp with no shade. And then I thought about it because I'm getting ready to change my family room. I said, let me go back. So I went back another day. Guess what? It was half off. So I got it for $4. Yes, I got it for $4 but I had to go and buy a lampshade, which I got from Walmart. So the lampshade was like maybe, I think it was $20. So I went and bought a brand new lampshade. I tried to find another lamp, you know, just like it, but no luck. So I wanted this lamp and I had to get it. of a cream color.
It doesn't feel right. I see your eyes. Tell me no lie. Let's talk about your ex. I am bringing in my bookshelf that I had in the living room. I did purchase another one and I put it together off camera. I just didn't want to take up too much time. So I decided to go ahead and um, put it together off camera. Here I will be taking my pictures down and also taking nails out of the wall. Looking at the wall socket, I have extra plugs that I really don't need. So right now, I'm moving them. But I feel in my gut, it doesn't feel right. I see your eyes. Tell me no lie, la 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 la. Tell me no lies, tell me no lie, la 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 la. Tell me no lies, tell me no lie, la 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 la. Tell me no lies, tell me no lie, la 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 la. Let's talk about your ex. I am now putting the glass back onto the bookshelf. from your 
I am so sorry, you guys. I forgot to show you the box before putting up this bookshelf. So I got it up and I feel that I needed to do it off camera because it was taking, you know, so much time. I should have put it in, you know, time lapse, but I decided to just go ahead and um, put it up off camera. But right now I am removing the pictures off of the walls and then I'm going to put up a couple of mirrors. A couple of more things that I will be painting in my family room is that book cabinet right there. I'm going to paint that black and another cabinet I will be painting black and you will see that in a minute. Do y'all remember these mirrors that I had in my living room? Now they are in my family room. I do have more mirrors in my living room, but I replaced them. So now I have these here in the family room. I did paint these vases uh, orange and brown I will show you a before picture and these are the after and I got these I don't know I forgot what they called sprays I forgot what you call them but I did get them from Amazon so I will show you a before and after shot of these vases they were green and the other one was sort of a I don't know brown orange orange color but I did use it in one of my videos for the fall in my living room. So here we are. This is the shelf that I am going to paint black. And I am going to add a vase, 
candle holder and some candles here on this cabinet. And I did spray paint this vase and it was white and the candle holders were brown. So I used a granite type paint. So I will show you a before and after shot. So right now, this is the end of my video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm not done, so y'all have to come back and see what I have next for you guys. I want to say thank you so much for watching, and if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell button so that you will not miss out on any of my videos. Y'all come back because you never know what I may have next for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!